Okay, good Friday morning, everybody. Kind of a, I don't know, kind of a weird looking day out today. There's about a 28, 30% chance of rain. It sprinkled a few, a few different times yesterday, light rain, but it didn't amount to nothing. So we're gonna take this truckload of grain in. So we'll start her up and let her get warmed up, and uh, then we'll uh, we gotta fill fill uh, Grandma's chariot up so she can mow. So all right, let's go fill a lawnmower. Couple of trucks, big Michigan preferred transport, or Chatham, Chatham, Ontario. A couple lucky farmers' trucks. Got one over there on number 10. Watson's in front of us, one of them great big Canadian Titan trailer trucks. But yeah, it looks like we'll be able to pretty much drive right through, so that's good. Rear axle steers, front two axles on the trailer steer. He's got the second tag picked up. That's what they had to go to up in Canada. Like I said, that's why all the Michigan boys are ending up with their old ones that don't steer. Anyway, we're following them all the way through. Don't number 10. Okay, it's on.
to get in. Thanks, Nova. Put the handle down here behind the seat. Back up, get out of the way. Okay, so we made her home. And uh, I think I'm gonna drill some beans now, some double crop beans. So we gotta get that all around. Get the seed moved over to Dad's. Get the drill over there and start drilling beans. Will you run the So, yeah, went in and grabbed a bite to eat, and it's uh, two minutes till 12, and as you can see by the camera lens, you guys got dripped on. I don't know if it'll pick it up, but she's sprinkling pretty good, so, yeah. I guess we'll see. I just brought the radar up. Looks like for an hour or so, we got possibly some rain coming doesn't look like nothing heavy but I'll take the rain ground is dry so yeah we'll uh, chill out and see what happens all right now I'm gonna drag this frame in here and do some work to it uh, I'm gonna put it up on the lift or bring the saw horses in and set it up on that we'll get it in here first and see So I am going to pick this up and uh, then I'm going to slide the, this saw horse under it. Under this corner when I pick it up. Drag that one around on this one. Wrap it on into this and knock it off. Okay, pick it up, carry it over that piece. Don't trip over nothing. Careful, Bella, you ain't got very good for that. We got her on here. So, this was an afterthought. Can't get the bolt out, so I'm gonna have to drive it back that way, cut the bolt off. I got new bolts for it. <laughs> this pulled away. My weld wasn't very good there. I didn't get no penetration. Lasted quite a few years, but, so we're gonna clean all this weld out of here, heat this up, bend it back straight and re-weld it properly. That's the plan. Okay, took the grinder, cut off wheel, 
cut that big wad of weld off the top, took a notch down here, and then come around on this side and cut all this away and then trimmed all this out in here. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get a chain with one of my big hooks that I can put through here, come over the top of it. And I'm gonna come over to this side and wrap it around, tie it off, and I'm gonna get a binder, a ratchet binder. I put pressure on this while I'm heating it. And that way I can pull it back nice and easy instead of beating on it with a sledgehammer. And we'll get her good and tight. Get her straight up and down again. Get all this cleaned up. Actually, I'm gonna clean this up some more in here before I pull it tight so that I got good clean metal to weld on. on this end. Thank <laughs> you. 
tension on it we're actually straightening it back out already so we'll get the torch out start putting some heat to that take her nice and easy Our board, huh? all right that worked pretty good it's actually drawed back a little bit on the top but I wanted that that way when it gets bolted on no Bolt goes nope, through there, gotta take a first. and that'll go straighten that back out. So with this all hooked up, I'm going to get in there and get the welder out, get it set up and weld, burn some good heat in there. Make sure I get good penetration on the plate. Okay, got the trusty dusty Millermatic 215 over here. She's on 200. 20 volts. We're gonna burn this in, tack the two top corners, and uh, see if it stays. Put a couple more passes over there just to reinforce everything, and uh, we'll be good. Max, does this meet your approval? Huh? I'll turn around and walk away like it doesn't meet its approval. So we got that welded in there, 
cut me a piece of strap and welded it across the top like that one. So now we can take it out there and start putting it back together.